Hello everyone, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. Alright, for those of you that have the new Scan and Cut DX and the roll feeder attachment that comes with it. Okay, um, first you need to come in here to, oops, wrong button Jen. Come in here to uh, the Scan and Cut Canvas online. You must register that roll feeder at the uh, premium function activation so sign in uh, come into the workspace then click on your little person up here that has your name with it then come into the premium function activation and enter the numbers okay that will then activate it then you need to go to the offline program okay because in here in your workspace let me pull it up here maybe it's not available to you okay we have the image tracing we have the foiling the rhinestones the stamps the stickers uh, and all that good stuff and the embossing but there is no wool feeder okay so hopefully they get the oh, oh i got everything turned off um hopefully they get the mac program available to the offline people because i'm not quite sure how mac people are going to be able to utilize this okay um, but in here, once you do that, you're going to have this artboard, okay? So you need to click that. Then right here, artboard size, rolled material comes up. And then look what comes up too. You can have a portrait or landscape. This is the first time that they have made this available uh, in Canvas. And I don't know why it's only available for rolled material. 24 inches and 12 inches, it goes away. That's so frustrating. Goodness gracious me, oh my. But in here, you can go all the way up to 72 inches. Okay. And I do have the file that I actually cut in the one video. I have that on here. But if you do choose to use the landscape, which I highly recommend and wish that they would make available for anywhere from... 13 inches on up um, because it's easier this is how we naturally read or, or most of us do um, from left to right okay you have to be careful because um, <laughs> when you come down here the transform yes you can come up here and twist it or you can come up here okay and our angle Usually a 90 will swing this up because this is 90 degrees. Okay, so let's try, let's try minus 90. Let's see what this, ooh, don't want minus 900, holy cow smacks. Okay, now let's see, where did we go? All right, we're down here. So it's off of the mat, so we just have to move it up here. Okay, but at least we know it's going to be flat. Okay. If you go, if I was to go a positive 90, I think it'll be upside down. Yes, it's upside down. So, if you flip it and it's upside down, just add the minus sign in front of it. Okay, but you will have to drag to reposition most times, which I'm not quite sure why Canvas is like that. Again, this is one of my big issues that I'm having with the programs along with some of the error messages it throws out for you guys um, then make sure that your file is well within the red marks okay if not squeeze it down make sure it fits um, and then get ready to export it try not to leave it like this okay come back here portrait okay Turn it back to portrait. I will try to export this just to double check to make sure. Yep, okay. So it's hopefully it'll transfer. Let's see if it does. Okay. And then I'll pull it up in the machine and see if it works. All right, I just pulled it up on my, my machine, and no, um, if you leave the mat like this, it is no problem for the machine. So you can send the file over just like this, and it's absolutely fine. The machine reads it, no problem. Um, for those of us that use sure cuts a lot, <laughs> we know how important it is to flip it the other way. But 
coming from Canvas, it's absolutely no problem. Um, so hopefully they will free it up and allow anything 18 or uh, from 13 inches up allow the landscape design because it's really nice um, for those of us that do like to make slightly longer phrases uh, on a longer mat. Um, I'm trying to think of any other questions. And remember, once you have your file created, however you get it to your machine, if it's by cord, Wi-Fi, or USB, do not click retrieve data. Go onto your machine, click past uh, where it says patterns or scan. Um, click, let's see, click the right arrow, click roll feeder. Then after you have your roll feeder attached, click start to cut with roll feeder. Then that will bring up the icons that you have available from where you select your files from, okay? This is in all the other roll feeder videos I have. All right, guys, have a good day. If you have any other questions, you can find me at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scalhelp on Facebook. The link is in the description. Thanks a lot, guys.